It's dawn in Nairobi and already hundreds of job seekers are on the road. Most of them are from Kibera, Nairobi's biggest slum. Every morning, thousands of them walk the 10 kilometer stretch between the slum and the city's industrial area to search for jobs. At the factories, not everyone gets a job. The search for one could take a long time. I keep on being told to come tomorrow or next month. There are no jobs available. Official figures put the number of jobless Kenyans at 16 million. Most of them are the youth who form the bulk of Kenya's 40 million people. And this is what's forcing many into crime. These men are reformed gang members. They belong to the dreaded Gogo boys who once terrorized residents of Kibera slum. It's only after the police killed many of their members that they chose to mend their ways. The crimes which are usually, we, we were usually committing was mugging in our area because uh, by then people are usually fearing gun. Even me, I was fearing to carry gun because if you carry gun, then you become an enemy of the police. Unemployment remains one of Kenya's key challenges. The presidential candidates know it. Prime Minister Raila Odinga is promising to create one million jobs every year if elected. His main challenger, Uhuru Kenyatta, promises the same number of jobs during his first two years in office. These are promises not resonating with the youth. They know today if uh, uh, we are very, uh, economically empowered, then you won't have somebody who will be chasing after them each and every day. We'll be concentrating and focusing on developing and building Kenya. With just days to the elections, reports of gang and militia members involved in extortion and political violence in parts of the country is causing a huge concern. The fact that we have these groups being activated and all this speaks a lot to the type of uh, uh, state we have, a very fragile state. Um, the idea of the reactivation of the militias and all this has caused panic. But some youth are involved in spreading messages of goodwill ahead of the polls. Here they spray paint a commuter train with peace messages. With the possibility of violence looming, they have for now forgotten about their own problems. Mohamed Adou Al Jazeera, Nairobi, Kenya.